Hey guys, Kaz here. How are you doing today? I certainly hope you're doing well. Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm still here. I'm still watching videos, still gaining a lot of information and sharing it on other social media sites. But uh, the last couple years, my life has just been a complete blur. Some good news, some not so good news, but that's another video. Today I'm bringing you a video about canned goods and a use by date or best by date. Because the reason I'm making this video is because I see a lot of people in the survival preparedness community, and especially during these times right now when food is in short supply, I've seen several videos where people are panicking because their food is past the best by date or the use by date, and they're getting rid of it. And this really prompted me to make this video because of the food shortage going on right now. I want to show you and prove to you that food that is beyond, well beyond, the best by date and use by date is still absolutely good food. If you know what to look for, if you know the indications of spoilage, then you have good food on the shelf. And I'm going to show you that right now. Stay tuned. So I'm having some leftovers today. I'm having some pasta. And one thing I want to talk about mainly is uh, these cans are backdated quite a bit. Uh, this is June 13th, 2012. This is February 2013. And this one is February 2013. So when it comes to using food that is well beyond its best by date, most important thing you can do is inspect the can itself. You want to look at it. First thing you want to do is when you buy a can, you want to make sure that it's dent free. This one's got a little dent in it. And what that dent could do is crack the seal on the inside and it can cause what you see in this can here, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So when you buy cans, you want to make sure they're not dented, even though this is from uh, 2012. The other thing when you're observing cans, the first thing you want to notice is that is this top of the can, is it domed outwards, both on the bottom and the top. It's very important to pay attention to that. And that's going to tell you whether or not this can is still good or not, because bacteria creates a gas and that's going to pressurize inside the can. So looking at this can here, I can already tell that this can is no good because the top is concave and I can push that down and I can see that this can is concave. So this can is no good. You cannot eat this. You eat this, you're going to get sick. So that one's going to be discarded. Now here we have these two cans, both dated February 2013, and you can kind of see that this can has a slight dome to it compared to this one. This can here is still downward. So this has good pressure in it. Doesn't have any bacteria in it. And the whole idea is I want to add some tomatoes to my pasta leftovers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this can first. Because this one has a little bit of a bubble to it. Not much, but just a little. This can has none. And they're both dated 2013, and that's why you need to be careful when you're looking at canned goods like this. This has a slight dome. This one's perfectly fine. So I'm going to open this one first and see what we got. First thing I'm going to look for is discoloration, and I'm also going to look for how it looks overall, and then I'm going to smell it. That's the one thing I want to do. How, how does it smell? And the last thing I'm going to do is taste it. Okay? So I open this up. Get this open here. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is look at it. Does it 
look reasonably good? Yeah, it does. It looks it looks pretty well. The only thing I'm going to do is I want to sniff it. It doesn't have a bad odor. And again, I'm going to try and get this on the camera for you. If we can see. It does say 2013, if I can get a, a nice image on there. There we go, for a second. It does say 2013, so. Looking at this one, I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna take a spoon, mix it up a little bit. I don't wanna stir it because I don't wanna disturb it too much. I wanna look at it, make sure it looks good. It doesn't look discolored at all. It's got a good scent. It doesn't smell spoiled. It still smells fresh. All right. So now I'm going to take just a little bit of the juice and I'm going to taste this. And it does not have a bad taste. It's actually pretty good. Now I'm going to taste some of the actual tomatoes. Okay. Tastes good. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste spoiled. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. This tastes pretty good. I don't taste my stomach's not getting upset or anything immediately. It's not I'm not having an immediate reaction. The tomato is actually still firm, believe it or not. So I'm going to go with this can. All right, guys, just like the tomatoes that I just showed you, this can is backdated quite a bit. I'm going to show you the date on it. And it is December 2012. And again, by looking at the can, you see that the top of the can is down, the bottom of the can is down. There's a little tiny ding right there, but I think that's going to be okay. The important part is, is like I said, it's not domed. Not domed on top, not domed on the bottom. The seal looks real good, and the bottom looks real good. There's no cracks. The only question I have is that little ding right there. So, we're going to open this up, take a look at it. We're going to listen for a pressure release. And as you see, the air went into the can because this lifted up, which is a really good sign, meaning that it was still sealed very well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smell it, look at it, and then smell it. It looks fine. It looks absolutely fine. A little bit of grease on top, but that's okay. It's got a fresh aroma. It does not smell bad at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spoon, just like I did before. I'm going to stir it up and look at the contents. It looks good. It looks really good. So I'm going to take a little sip, just a little sip, perfect, it's absolutely perfect, it's really good, it's not spoiled, this can is dated 2012, okay, it's 10 years old, and it's fine, it's absolutely fine. We'll pour it in the pot. Get a better look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a better look at that. That looks perfect. Very good. Very, very good. Just gonna add a shot of water. Get this 
time stove. And again, the date on this can, December 2012. The soup's perfect, nothing wrong with it. So don't throw away your food that is beyond the best by date or used by date, especially at this time right now. It's really important to understand that the best by date means that it tastes best by that day. Same thing by the used by date. It's best used by that date, but it does not mean that it's spoiled or no good. As long as you inspect the can, inspect the food, smell it, taste it, just a little sip, if it tastes rancid, don't eat it. If it smells bad, don't eat it. But here are two things that I showed you where the food is perfectly fine past the best by date.